Oh, that's a good question. Let me think about that one for a moment. Um, I came here uh, to learn about how to do um, good communication of mathematics using visualizations and how to uh, use that for my own visualizations and trying to gather uh, a network in the, in the field. The reason I decided to attend the conference and in fact to organize a conference like this is to bring together like-minded people from around the world who all really care about math outreach and have a lot they can share with each other. I was delighted when I was asked to speak at the conference because I've been wanting to attend this conference for at least four years, maybe even six. So I was delighted to come and even more delighted with everything that unfolded. So uh, my idea to come here was to um, um, speak a little bit about the Snapshots project, which I did at the Bazaar. It was really great to speak with a lot of people that have heard about it before and gave some feedback, have not heard about it, and uh, yeah, so to popularize the project there. Because I want to uh, know how people share maths in every country. Um, I got some colleagues in popularization in Geneva who created the Mathscope, an out-of-class learning places for math and they have been at Matrix the previous years. They couldn't come this year and I became way more interested since I finished my PhD, so I really wanted to attend it and it was close by. So I decided to attend the conference when I received a mail uh, of invitation to give a keynote presentation and I couldn't refuse because it's a conference about outreach and I love outreach and uh, I especially love to meet people who do outreach because Often we share the same values because we want to uh, go to people and speak to them about mathematics. We met with Andreas Matt and uh, Cindy Lawrence uh, in 2018 in Rio de Janeiro and uh, we thought it would be a great idea to have a joint event between uh, Matrix and the series of conference by the MoMA and uh, Imaginary. And it would be great to host it at IHP because we have this Maison Poincaré project. Uh, it was really timely to have it possibly in 2020 and unfortunately postponed until 2022. Well, I think what I enjoy most is the variety of things. So it had been main talks, but it had been bazaar. It had been a lot of examples of activities, different points of view. As a designer, I uh, was interested in topics associated with the natural sciences for a lot of my career. And then I moved into this area of mathematics. And to be uh, around a lot of people who are not all mathematicians, but they know how important it is, it's a, it's a wonderful experience. Um, actually, I really like that the conference is uh, so friendly. The people here are really warm-hearted and it's really easy to get into conversation with everybody. What I've really found most interesting at this conference is the camaraderie that comes from uh, people with that shared passion, with the, the desire to um, communicate their love for mathematics and to uh, further infect the world with a positive view. Uh, the many different talks and the, the, the sheer uh, amount of, of, of ideas and implementations of, of ideas for, for maths outreach. Meeting all the people, it really feels like getting to know the field much better. Um, and the last workshop we had today, like the, the session was really productive and I think it was, it was the most productive of the week for me. But then I also tremendously enjoyed the, the talks, like Team Chartier's talks was a performance, it was great. I enjoyed the most about the conference that uh, everywhere uh, on the planet where uh, people come from, they are trying to do the same things like uh, showing uh, children and uh, students that mathematics is fun and beautiful. Uh, and I was uh, very touched by the fact that we even don't know each other and we meet and we are thinking about the same problem. Oh, I've enjoyed the most meeting new people that I haven't met before who are sharing things that they're doing and really challenging me to think about different ways that we can all work together. I will be um, returning to my workplace with a, a larger 
network, a larger group of professionals who are similarly uh, interested and um, supportive and uh, with a new sense that the community is much larger than I thought it was before. So, I think what I'd like to take back to my home community is the sense that we're part of a much larger community, that math is unifying for people of all different countries, all different backgrounds, and we can be a big part of bringing people together. One of the big things for me is just the passion that other people have had. The vision that they have of what their outreach can be can influence the way I can look at the outreach around me and also the way that I can talk to others about the outreach that they can do as well. I attended the creative session on origami, so it, I don't have many opportunities to use it in my teaching because I teach computer science, but in my outreach activities I think I will use some of the ideas. So I'm uh, working in France and I think it's very important for us to be able to put uh, in the curriculum in the universities uh, the fact that students uh, can learn uh, how to do outreach and to do public service to go do outreach uh, in the communities. So we need to speak to our universities to be able to put this in the curriculum and uh, the community, international community can help us with it because there are already many good experiences. So I will pass this to my colleagues. It was really great. Uh, there, was, there were plenty of people interacting, very diverse audience also, uh, gender balanced. It's really amazing to see that and uh, to see all these activities. It was really a great pleasure to host this event. And it was a very important job for the staff of IHP, but it was really successful. Yeah.